Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J, and today's video is going to be my top five bronzers for 2021. Now, admittedly, I didn't get all these bronzers in 2021, neither did they all just come out in 2021. But for this year, I think it's the year of bronzers and base products. And I wanted to share my top five powder bronzers. I'll probably do one for cream, but this is my top five powder bronzers. So yeah, yeah. I do have a few honorable mentions. You know how I do. It's never five. But <laughs> generally, we're going to... Generally, we're going to count down to five. So if this is of interest to you, definitely keep on watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that you know when next I release a video. You can also follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's Medea J across board. Now, let's jump in. <laughs> now, before I start ranking, I just want to say that um, the order in which they appear is not because I don't like the product or have a problem with them. It's just because the composition is so tight and I enjoy all the bronzers that are currently in my collection. As you know, during the year, I did do a declutter, so I did focus in on the bronzers that I do enjoy. So this was pretty tight. And pretty hard for me to rank so please bear in mind that these are fantastic bronzers feel free to shop them if you like um, all the links will be in the description box some of them will be affiliate links some of them will be referral links please consider using my affiliate code or links when you are shopping it just means that I make a little bit of money with no additional cost to you all right okay so in fifth place I have the Colored Rain bronzers. Now I have two of them. They kindly sent two over for me to test when it came out. So I've got Naughty Spice and I've got Mocha Queen. Uh, Mocha Queen is a little dark for me. So I potentially use this during the summertime. You can see that's when I used a little bit of it. But Naughty Spice, I'm wearing it today on top of my bronzer. And I actually use this to contour because it's a little cooler tone than I'm used to for bronzer. Um, Colored Rain makes some of the best products on the market. They're an indie brand, but they make some of the best products. I feel like they've come out with a lot of base products this year. So they came out with their makeup brushes. They came out with these bronzers, blushes. I think they are hitting it hard. And I can predict that next year is gonna be foundation, concealer, powder, all of those good stuff and I'm really really excited for what is coming now these bronzers come in a beautiful shade range so if you're looking for a bronzer to suit your skin tone this is where you need to start because their shade range is immaculate and the undertones as well are really really good definitely check them out I especially love this because one it plays well with other products so when I do use it with um, base bronzers it works really well it doesn't skip it doesn't catch on my skin and also when I use it with other powder products it still shines through so I only use a little bit to kind of chisel out my cheekbone a little bit more to give it some definition and it did that so I'm not going to dwell too much on these bronzers because I believe they should speak for themselves I've used this over the course of the year so definitely check back in tutorials but the Colored Rain bronzers are definitely a plug. So definitely check them out. As I said, I've got Mocha Queen and Naughty Spice. And these are pressed bronzers. Okay. So in fourth place, this is a bronzer that I picked up recently. Don't think it came out this year. Or maybe it did. I'm not sure because I kind of stayed away from this brand a little bit. And this is the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Mokamami. Now I've explained in one of my videos why I don't really use Fenty Beauty on my channels only because their base product broke me out and caused this this that just never goes away and so I kind of took a big step back from using any of their products. I only use the um what have I got from Fenty? I have one lipstick. Is that it? 
I think so. So I don't even really have anything from them because I, I just didn't want to stop buying stuff and then get bitterly disappointed. I've only started buying the skincare and this is the first base products that I'm buying since, you know, it happened. Anyway, this is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Mokamami. And first of all, I want to say that the packaging for this Fenty Beauty Bronzer is gorgeous. I love how reflective it is. I love that it's gold. It mimics Fenty Beauty's packaging to a T and I love it. The reason why this one ranks slightly higher than the color drain is only because of the undertone of this particular bronzer. The shade range of the Fenty Beauty bronzers isn't my favorite. I feel like the undertones kind of skip a little bit. So this one is a little bit red for someone who's very cool tone. This pulls really red on me. I kind of wish that there were shades in between with different undertones but you pretty much get this one for majority of brown skin girls and then it goes darker which I feel like there's a gap that they need to fill but in saying that I feel like this bronzer is very rich very warm very intense very pigmented but still very um easy for you to control there's some bronzers that once you dip your brush in there and you apply like it gets everywhere but this one, I think because of the stiff formulation, you kind of need to work your brush in there to get your product, which is a fantastic thing for a bronzer because you don't want it to be overly pigmented immediately. You kind of want to build up your bronze, and I do appreciate it for that. This isn't the cheapest bronzer. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> and it's not that expensive, especially for a base product. But I do feel like I'm going to hit pan very soon in terms of using this. I've only had this for about a month and look at it. So, you know, if you can't afford to purchase this one, I recommend, this is where my honorable mention comes in, you know, I recommend that you get the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in N Robe. They are very similar in terms of tone. I'll probably say that N Robe is slightly darker, but they are so similar especially when you apply it and you can see that my revolution pro has pretty much hit pan in the middle but if you can't afford makamami i would say definitely try and robe it's not dupe for dupe but they are very similar in terms of how warm it makes your skin this is by far my favorite um drugstore bronzer by far my favorite i didn't add it to this top five because i've used other bronzers that i prefer but this would rank quite close to this one. So definitely check this out. This is way more um, affordable than the Mokamami. Also appreciate the fact that it has a mirror, but then Revolution Pro also has a mirror. But just, you know, just bear that in mind. For me, this is like a luxury item because you can obviously get an affordable one. But anyway, I've got Fenty Beauty Mokamami in place number four. In third place, I have two products don't shoot me they are pretty much similar okay but it depends on your skin tone depends on your undertone depends on a lot of factors but pretty much the same thing um i've got the morphe face palettes now this is the 8d deep glam and this is the ar let's start with the ar called that's rich and ignore the blushes at the top we're talking about the bronzer shade and the contour shade. Now you've got this roll of bronzer shade and I feel like this tone works really well for me in the winter months. I say that like as if I get lighter, like this winter I haven't gone lighter, but imagine if I did, these will be the tones that I would use. Now I use this a lot during the summertime and I was definitely using these to bronze but I kept going back into this to kind of deepen my bronze until I purchased the um, 8D one. But generally, if you're my skin tone or lighter, I recommend this one because again, similar to the Fenty Beauty, the formulation is a little bit stiff, so you can build your bronze, plus you get different shades of bronze and you also get a brightener. I normally use the brightener to kind of lighten any contour that I've done way too much. You know, sometimes you go, heavy handed with your bronze or your contour so I kind of use the brighter to kind of lift that you can also use it to highlight the top of your cheekbones 
if you're doing like a gradation of your bronze it's really up to you how you want to play with this but i definitely recommend this if you're like my skin tone or lighter um and then the 8d one is a little richer so you get these deep colors and as you can tell this is pretty much the only one that i've really really used because I didn't need to mix any of these to give me a deeper bronze. This shade of bronze was perfect for me and it worked really well. Plus the brightener as well is perfect. It works really well with the shades in here. So these face palettes from Morphe are affordable in my opinion because you get a lot of products. You get a lot of bronzers, you get blushes, you get highlighters. So definitely worth the money. You can also pick it up on sale. Morphe are forever doing sale. So if you want to shop Morphe products, either wait for the sale, sign up for their like affiliate thing and make some money online. You can also use Top Cashback to save yourself some money. I say this all the time. Shopping online, you need to be savvy and really, really save your money. Don't buy anything full price without at least getting cash back. So I will leave my Top Cashback recommendation in the description box definitely use it if you sign up to top cashback you just make some money back girl make some money back but anyway this is what this one looks like so i know i'm cheating but in third place i've got the morphe face palettes in ar and 8d definitely check them out these are by far my favorite <laughs> face palettes that is so yeah definitely check them out now in second place this was really difficult second and first it was just really really difficult really difficult but i've decided that in second place i've got the hula toasted bronzer from benefit this would have ranked first if benefit came out with this bronzer when they came out with the very first one um i feel like this was an afterthought <laughs> when the industry was you know angry that a lot of these brands were coming out with products that didn't suit darker skin tones so they kind of did and I will just release a couple more darker shades but anyway this is one of my favorites clearly I still use it I still use it yesterday I use it all the time this bronzer is rich this bronzer is creamy this bronzer is easy to blend this bronzer can be used wet Mm -hmm. I said it, it can be used wet. I have used my wet sponge to apply this bronzer before and it went on like a dream. I love how rich the Hula bronzers are from Benefit. I kind of wish that the shade range keeps on expanding, okay, because we still are skipping some shades. But in terms of the quality, in terms of the amount of product that you get, I think this is definitely value for money. Again, with Benefit, definitely use links to shop online to save yourself a good buck because you would class this as generally high-end because it isn't in your drugstore. Is it? Is Benefit in drugstore? I don't think so. I haven't seen it. <laughs> but definitely let me know if it's in like super drug or something because I haven't been in a while. But anyway, you can see from the pan that this is one of my favorites. The tone of it is very warm but not red and it still gives you that um chisel effect it still helps you define your features without going overboard it's also one of those products that a little bit at a time works because it's super pigmented so this is second place only because benefit girl you took your time plus the packaging isn't my favorite i feel like there's some brushes that i can't get in there and I also think that the mirror is just a waste of time. Like, who gonna see this? Like, what are you gonna do with this? So other than that, I think the actual product is a dream. I am so proud of myself keeping these short and sharp. But in first place, if you know, you know, if you are my OG and you've been watching me, you know, you know. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pause. You type in what product do you think comes first? I'm gonna give you a minute. All right, I'm gonna assume that you guessed right. It is the Morphe <laughs> Glamour Bronze Bronzers. Now, if you know, you know, I had the original Phenom 
I've since then decluttered it because one, I hit a massive pan and two, it's pretty much old. But that was in the limited edition packaging. Morphe has since then come out with it in their normal packaging and there is a ton of shades. As a matter of fact, I've actually got this in another shade because I wanted to try out other shades from the range. But this is my favorite by far and this is Phenom. Now this is what I mean by packaging that makes sense. The mirror is big enough for me to use. The pan size is big enough for my big ass brushes to go in there. And it's very easy, very warm. All year round, I don't have to be lighter or darker or anything. This bronzer works for me regardless. Like it's, it's my ride or die. Like if I'm struggling with what product, Phenom. If I don't know what to brush, Phenom. Phenom just gives me my life. And the other shade that I purchased is a little bit crumbly. So I'm going to tilt it a little bit because it came broken. But this is Lida. Lida is a little warmer than Phenom. Can't really tilt it too much or else everything's going to come pouring down. But I want to show you the difference. You can see that Phenom is a little lighter than Lida. Lida is a little red, a little warmer in turn. But I have used this in the summer months because it works really well. I love the packaging. I love the shade selection. And I love how affordable it is. Plus, as I said, Morphe always do sales. So definitely this had to rank number one because I have repurchased this already and I'm using it and I'm loving it. But yeah, that is it you guys definitely let me know in the comment section your favorite bronze powder bronzers for 2021 i will be doing one for cream bronzers though i don't have that many so it's just going to be a short and sharp video of the ones that i do have and ones that i do like so definitely look out for that and if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't please consider subscribing so that we can hit our goals for 2021 and 2022 and yeah i'll catch you in a future video remember god doesn't like ugly be nice to someone today and black lives always matter and i'll see you soon Peace.